Welcome back to the Grand Tour game. As it's another week, we've got a brand new episode, and I've heard this is one of the best ones yet. The International Buffoon's Vacation. This is the Grand Tour Season 3, Episode 8. So yeah, as per usual, I don't really know what's going on this episode, but I believe... It is a Grand Tour special. Welcome to what is a Grand Tour special in which we go on vacation. Yeah, let me explain. The other day we were wondering why some people who want to visit the western bit of America choose to do so on an RV touring holiday. It sounds like caravanning to us, though, and you couldn't enjoy that <laughs> unless you were mental. <laughs> However, Mr. Wilman says that since this is a motoring and travel and adventure show, he would rent us an RV and then we could go over there to see if we could find out what the appeal is. I have no idea about RVing. I've never been in an RV. And this was the Winnebago chieftain that he rented for us. Very terrible in every way. Chaps, if you'd like to brace, I'm going to put my foot down and see what you do. Happy? Yeah. Yeah, here we go. Wait, I've got a break? So we're driving a Winnebago. Oh my god. All right, what do I need to do? Flora James, let's see what this milk wagon can do. All right, so yeah, as I was saying, I know nothing about RVs. Um, the, uh, the limited knowledge of RVs that I have uh, comes from Breaking Bad and Cookie Meth in the back of them. That's about it. This is what I love about this game, though. They have such crazy cars, they are always so different and so unique. It is awesome. I love it. We are doing a hundred and- Slowness put Hammond and me in a bad mood. You're just helping yourself to car. I thought well, that was the idea. Pretty yeah, we were doing 116 miles an hour in a caravan RV. I don't know if that's possible. Probably not. Definitely not. This whole experience wouldn't be so bad if we somehow could modify it so it's better to live in. Well, I don't know if we could have one each. Yeah. Well, why don't we do that? Get one each? Yeah, why don't we just get one each and then modify it to suit our particular requirements? We don't have to have all of this offensive. We can do what we want. All right. I see how we're doing this. This is going to go badly. I'm telling you right now, this is going to go badly. Is what I've gone for. It's the Ford F550 National Tropical, and it's 36 feet long. It's why very so big. Massive? I wanted to modify it in such a way that I brought a small taste of home with me. Can you guess what it is? Uh, Brown a, furniture. A tea nope. cozy. A rusty nope. motorcycle. No. Follow me. What? It is massive. Holy moly. Whoa. Oh, yes, welcome shit. Welcome to Rack and Pinion. What will it be? I'm in a pub. No way. Oh, That's shit. actually really cool. Got peanuts on the wall. Terrible pictures. Oh, yes. This is fabulous. <laughs> Let's ask. Why have you got a drawing of three stroke victims on the wall? That's us. Wait, what am I? <laughs> All right, I see they're I see they're using the the photo thing to its limit. <laughs> Maybe today's the day we get all gold. We're not going to need to drive. It's going to yes, be fantastic. It's James, it's my job to ridicule you, obviously. But I can't, because apart from the dartboard, you've done an incredible job. Thank you. But it isn't quite as incredible as the job I've done. I like that idea of a pub in an RV. Whoa. Very, gone, uh, as you can see. He's built a Daytona. An optical theme. In the desert. Yes, bear with me. Wait, it's a Two boat. Work, obviously. Jet ski on the back. And then up on the top, and this really is the piece de resistance, the flying bridge. Right, boots are off. Whoa. What? Is this all bathroom? Yes, obviously, a lavatory. I'll just pop this open, like so. Wow. Lower the flap, which means that in the morning I can. Yes! 10 out of 10. I don't understand I why, mm -hmm. but 10 out so of 10. That's amazing. Part. What a view. Whoa. Oh, I say. Well, this is wasted space normally, isn't it? Exactly. It's pretty good, this, Hammond. Right. Hammond? Yes. Where's yours? Over there. Um. What, behind the lorry? No, it is the lorry. That's it. That's not an RV. It is. Look, it's big. I can sleep on it, and it's got a bike on the back. That's a recreational vehicle right there. This we have got to see, mate. It's just a truck with a house on the back. 
When I say house, I mean a tent. It needs to move along, so a truck is the obvious answer. So what sort a, of truck is it? I don't know, truck. These are the <laughs> ones that used to be the U-Haul lorry. Oh! You've still got the sign of the previous... Mattress outlet! <laughs> Come aboard, leave your shoes on, because this wood is very splintery. Here's the living accommodation. Um... What living accommodation? The bed. There, bed. Telescope in case I get bored in the evening. Engine? It's got V8. Whose? Mine now, I bought the truck. <laughs> you have made no effort whatsoever. Oh, no, now I have, but I've distilled it down. I haven't wasted time and effort on complicated stuff I don't need. This is honest. Laura, I'm not going to call it an RV. It isn't an RV. It's dismal. God, straight. He's not done well. I will be oh, honest, the bike on the back is kind of cool. Like, it's a great idea, but it's going to go badly. Story. So what are we doing? Are we having a bit of a race in our RV? Two RVs and a truck. All right. Oh, my God. These are you, massive. I want to drive. I want to drive Clarkson's one. The boat. <laughs> Look at it! Jeez, it was like a big Dodge Daytona. I don't know how we're doing a hundred and... Hammond just squeaks. I don't know how we're doing 120 miles an hour. Makes no sense whatsoever. You can't really overtake it. It's huge! This is the biggest thing I've ever driven in my... I cannot overtake... Oh. I hate you! I lied. I lied. <laughs> Got him. Thanks, game! Maybe today is the day where we get all gold stars. Wouldn't that be amazing? Soon we arrived in a typical American town. Where are we? It's got a McDonald's, a Taco Bell, Jack in the Box. All right, we're legit. Well. So we decided to check in for the night. Is this when they park up and they break everything and they catch everything on fire again like they did in the old show? Why don't we? You know those big Baja off-road 28-inch suspension travel things? Dune racers. Dune racers. Yeah. Why don't we get three of those and belt around in the desert? Yes. Because that would be bovine, and no. I wouldn't learn anything from that. I'd rather go and do something cultural. Blasting around the dunes sounds like fun. It, Blasting around the dunes what? does sound like you a lot of fun. No way they put Native dune American buggies parts. in this mm -hmm. game as well. We want to go dune racing, yes? Right. Let's have a vote. No. <laughs> All right. I would be driving this. A Jake's Fabworks JF5U. I like it. James would be driving this. An Illumi Craft Class 10. Hey, the buggy. Hammond would have Ugh. this. A plastic green pickup <laughs> truck. This is a trophy truck. They're like a stadium truck sort of thing. Oh, yes. All right, I feel like I'm in Horizon 4. What? This is weird. Okay, turn. What do I need to do? I need a lap time of 31 oh, seconds. God. This is what I mean by the devs do some very, very cool things. There's updates that come out for this game every week, and it's completely free. And it includes stuff like this. Amazing. We've already had a Winnebago, three R two RVs and a lorry, and we've got three buggies. That's, that's so sick. We're all gold stars still, by the way. 2013 Curry underneath this plastic pickup body has the same tubular space frame chassis as the other two, but I've only got a two-litre engine. However, it's a Ford EcoBoost, so it's turbocharged. Okay. And they've tuned it, so it's putting out just shy landing. 300 brake horsepower. Very nice. I like it. Look at the green plastic pickup. Pure acceleration, Hammond. Enjoy getting airborne. So for those of you who don't know, one of my favorite <laughs> series of racing is Stadium Super Trucks out of Australia. It just seems like the <laughs> coolest thing. And obviously we don't have it in Canada, but I watch like oh, highlights ready? every now and again on, on YouTube and it just looks amazing. And this is sort of kind of the type of thing they drive. They drive on two wheels most of the time. Seriously awesome. I don't know if they're doing stuff in America. I don't follow the series too closely, but yeah. Long story short, I love the pickup trucks. So damn cool. <laughs> oh my god, I just jumped out of the yeah, stadium. How do you want me to... I got useless. I... We were doing so well. Come on, game. All right, give me the goddamn Illumicraft. At least that I know how to drive it. Just don't give me a stupid speed challenge again. This would be a type of racing that I really, really want to do. Usually I don't like the idea of getting air in a car, 
But this is sick. Oh my god, it's so fast. I need to drift. Oh shit, okay. Probably should have looked at that before. Alright, let's go, Illumi Craft. Slide it about. Sliding on dirt is quite difficult, actually. Alright, we got one lap to try to drift 150 meters. There aren't many corners on this track. Why is the suspension so stiff? Haven't really done much proper drifting. Yes! Slivers! I've done it! I did 156! Ah, oh, that was the easiest challenge I've ever done. I'm gonna do one more. That was close, though. That looks awesome. Bob May had had his fun. We all stopped for a breather. Yes. I don't like admitting you're right, but I can be magnanimous. It's brilliant. You've <laughs> wasted your life with Chopin and plywood. You're a dune racer. You've always been a dune racer. You just didn't know you were. It was just fantastic. And it's comfortable. That's the thing. It's comfortable motorsport. Yeah. The suspension. It's just, it's brilliant. It's cheapskate motorsport. I've got a brilliant idea. What are you looking Oh, my God. I know exactly where they are. They're next. In the background right there, I saw the so Pro good. Gun Club thing. It's right there. Right there. That says Pro Gun Club. That is legitimately there isn't. 20 what? minutes away anyway, from, like, the Las anyway, Vegas Strip. Idea. That's well, where they are filming this right now. Lap, I have a picture of that sign first. when I went to Vegas. That's so sick. <laughs> that is it. Okay, well, the green screen sort of messes it up. But that's the same place. How cool. Oh, wait. Are we doing a race? I totally wasn't paying attention to what they were saying. So we're doing a time attack. 32 seconds is the time to beat. Come on, Captain. Pour on the speed. I will try my best. See, in Forza, racing, off-road is usually one of my best things. We'll see how it is in the Grand Tour game. We got this. Okay, the suspension is really not that soft in the game. I'm just going to say, come on. Get to the line. Yes. Yes, we've done it. Already done it. First attempt. All right. Look at that. I don't want that stupid toilet score. That was not cool. Other than the toilet score, we're all gold. I can do a slightly better one than that. Can I have another go? <laughs> Next, it was my turn. I just want to say, Hammond, what? you have twice as much horsepower as me. And May, you have 50 horsepower more than I've got. I never knew you got into the car like that. All right, so it's not from a dig. 32 seconds for this buggy that I haven't actually heard of before. All right, let's go. Come on. Go. I think they've been sponsored by this actual racetrack, though, to put it in the game. Because they've got, they've actually got logos of the actual place all gathered around. Like, you see that logo next to the Grand Tour one right there? I think that's the logo of the place. And they're all wearing the same shirt. I'm just saying. It is quite I think there's some secret product plugging going on. And a very clean lap from Mr. Clarkson. Ah, One attempt. Incredible. That's another gold lap, uh, gold medal. We just got to finish our lap. Look at that. There we go. We're eight out of 13 plus one toilet score. So we've done nine. We're doing really well. Ricky Bobby Hammond. Let's give this a go in the plastic pickup truck. It says TikTok. Sponsor. Turn 32 seconds for this thing as well. All right, no problem. Watch this. We got it. Turn in nice. There we go. I will say the suspension is very stiff on the other two, but on this one, it actually seems kind of good, but it's not that bad. We're also shooting flames a lot, which is quite cool. All right, turn, 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 turn. And one lap. And another gold star. Oh, okay. Well, like apparently we just decided to channel our inner Tony Hawk. Well done in the vegetable Great job. Trusted in Hammond's excuses. Hey, there's the sign I took a picture of. Oh, they're gonna be in Vegas. Oh uh, no, they're, they've definitely left Vegas. All right. So what are we doing, Jeremy? Put the other RVs in your rear view. No flushing. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's a big toilet in here. <laughs> Yep, okay. All right, we got to box him out. Whippy Slippy, get it going, lads. Y'all got nothing on the Dodge Daytona of RVs. Um, lads, uh, are those... Oh, my God, yes. Soon it was time to um, campsite. are those supposed to be there? Another night in a horrible RV I didn't do anything. And we have I have no idea what needed. just happened. I think it's an excellent idea. I mean, dune buggy racing is fantastic, and I won, but it is quite hot and sweaty and dusty, and we can balance that with peace and quiet and 
a starry sky. I mean, that's going to be fantastic out here. Let's work out what we're going to do. Now I want a hard-boiled egg. Damn. You've already no, done that. We've all done that. I thought we could go to a racetrack. Oh. No, not a racetrack. Why not a racetrack? Las, Vo oh, La Las Vegas? Like, Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Yeah, this is not the racetrack I was thinking of. Once yep. we climbed nope. Once we modified RVs, we were ready for the all. Um... This is a stupid idea. I disapprove. It's needlessly destructive. He's got a really racing like harness in his RV. <laughs> yeah, this is not Las Vegas Motor Speedway. My bad. We've got the RV race to end all yeah. RV race. Oh, of I have to hit people. Does that count? Does that... I guess that doesn't count. How do you want me to hit people? So if I come just like barreling up the inside... Yes! yes! <laughs> Shit. Oh, brilliant. Damn it, I'm all oh, over the road. God. Another one. What is wrong with you? Yes. Oh, no. Okay, you guys are way too slow. Let's go. We've got places to be. Die. <laughs> all right, we're on, we're on bronze. Oh, That's yeah. pretty good. Oh, we need 12 dirty. hits. I'm about to pit maneuver. Whoever's in this other RV. I need 12 hits in 30 seconds. Yes. There we go. There's another one. <laughs> Oh, no. More horsepowers. <laughs> no! Straight into the wall. How am I not good at crashing into things? This should be the only thing yes. I'm actually good at. We're on nine. Come on, fly it up. Yeah. That's a big one. Oh, oh great. Stop me I need one more. One more ten seconds. Come on. That Got him. Gold. Yes. Turns out I am going to crash into things. That's another one. <laughs> Thirteen. <laughs> Following hit after brutal hit, my opponent eventually conked out. He's in the wall! He's in the wall and toast! It's just me and this weird man. I know who that is. Go. It is the American. All right, five hits. We need nine hits. Hello, how are you? In Say the hello, Dodge Boy Tota. All right, we're getting in some nice early hits. Oh, I'm not long enough. Yeah, everyone in Twitch chat saying I would be great on this show. Thanks, guys. Gold star. Oh, excellent. Thank we nearly sent it right off the circuit. yourself all over my enthusiasm. This is very oh. cool, though. It's like they've gone to the extent of putting what we've gone on three different courses in this in this episode already. What is that? Seven new vehicles as well. Amazing. Grand Tour game peeps. Look, the other guy's not even gonna catch up to you. I think it is the American, though. I'm pretty sure. What's his name? It's Mike Mike Skinner, right? Oh, today was a good day. Gold star. We nearly go all gold stars. If it wasn't for the one toilet score, that would have been amazing. The boy to... Oh, it's on fire. It's on fire. There were, there were flames on the bottom. Glorious victory, really. Yeah, it is. It, it, and I think we've proved that if you must have an RV, it has to be... A Chevrolet Pace Arrow. <laughs> yes, yep. yes, it does. Yes, good. Congratulations. Very well done. Meanwhile, what? well, we've got to make camp for tonight in these. So I would suggest just over there. I think that's an excellent that's idea. As close managed. as possible. Yes. yes. You can come to your pub. Well, you're not expecting a drink, are you? Why not? The pub's been demolished. Is it? Yeah. Oh, of course, it's it to a wall. Yeah, yeah. happens a lot oh, these days. Oh, I what? nearly forgot. You know that guy that's been following us around since we got here? No. No. He's the one in the race overalls. No. No. You've still not seen him? Never seen him. Well, you have, because he was driving that. No! The they should have got him! No! We quickly that night, happy in the knowledge that the horror of our RV holiday was finally over. How much money does Amazon have to the point where they can just literally make a ring of fire around the RVs and get them, like, light them up? Wait. Mike! No! No, they should have got him. I don't know why they're showing this to us like this, but it's really strange. I don't know if they're like trying to lead on to something in the future, but that's really weird. We nearly got all gold stars. Hammond attempts maximum velocity. Give me one second. All right, come on. I want to get all golds. Please, please, please. I need mega speed right here. If I could actually do it. Gotta keep the pressure on. That will be so cool. Come on. There's no way this is a toilet score. 
Come on, 10 seconds. Come on. Come on, Hammond. You got this. Give me a gold. I just needed the one more attempt. We got the gold bug. Earn all gold in season three, episode eight of the Grand Tour, the RV special for the Grand Tour. I hope you guys enjoy it. Next week, we will be back with some more Grand Tour. I hope you see, see you all then. Thank you so much for watching. That was goddamn amazing.